sign, white lines, long driving, I'm feeling something holding me back, cut ties, no lies, inside and I never meant to say that, my eyes wide, I'll run and hide, seaside So the disco made it. They made it 600 miles. We didn't really have any problems. The only thing that happened was like the inertia switch comes on. Whoop de doo. So uh, the discovery did good. I mean, Nicole drove it the whole time. I never got into it. Well, Todd drove it a couple times, but no issues, no nothing. That's a good thing because we've got about four and a half, five and a half weeks until our summer vacation. We're going to take a week and go overlanding somewhere. Last year we took the Forerunner. This year we really want to take the Disco because it's just a better rig for us, I feel like. It's a better platform for two people to be out with a dog in. There's a little more room. It's wider. It's more comfortable. The driving dynamics off-road in this thing are just so much better. It's a real proper off-road rig and I want to be able to use it that way. I pretty much got everything under control as far as the maintenance issues that we wanted to tackle. The very last one we had to do was last week. I ordered a steering box from buyautoparts.com. I was originally looking for the Meridian steering boxes. They're a company that does remanufactures on them. And anyway, long story short, it turns out they're buy auto parts. So if you're looking for it, that's where to go. You'll see the story. We'll pick it up in a little bit. Old eats, quiet streets, so she didn't realize what it meant. Then I felt me hell. All or nothing, nothing happened, and I fell in my eyes wide. The steering box was the last component in the discovery that was keeping me up at night. It leaked from the input shaft, and as time went on, we started to notice the Discovery was beginning to get some of the characteristics of a death wobble. After inspecting the rest of the steering system, the process of deduction led me to the steering box. This makes sense since a symptom of a worn out steering box is leaking seals. Ordering the box was straightforward. Buy Auto Parts even included a return label for me to send back the old unit and get the $250 core charge refunded. Minus the core charge, this steering box was only going to run me a shade under $350. That was until I encountered the bane of Land Rover steering box replacement, pulling the Pitman arm. When your puller starts looking like the wishbone on Thanksgiving Day, it's best to stop before it comes apart and grants your wish to have half of it embedded in your body somewhere. So I got them out. I got the new one with me i got the old one in a box i'm going to take them around the corner to an auto shop try to get them to press that pitman arm off i tried to do it with one of these and all i ended up doing was going and bending that out it wasn't budging it wasn't budging so it's time to go try something different these guys should be able to knock it right out in five minutes one eternity later okay welcome back we're back i took the steering box off could not get that pitman arm to come off with any pitman arm puller i had Long story short, it became a two day ordeal. I took it to one shop down the street, which was just your normal run of the mill neighborhood car repair slash oil change shop. And they said, yeah, they'd give it a try. They put it in their press. They broke two different tools trying to get the pitman arm off. So in the end they said, hey, why don't you take this to our guy that we have that we send stuff to when this happens. And that was a driveline shop down the street, driveline transmission shop. So got it in there yesterday afternoon and they didn't have enough time to get it done yesterday so they went ahead and did it first thing this morning i went and picked it up now i've already refitted the box into its position here inside on the frame member um, i was going to film that but you know whatever this is this turned into an ordeal i want to get this done i apologize i didn't film myself slinging that up in there now something i did notice and that i didn't film um, was that the directions in the rave manual weren't exactly clear. It's just kind of weird, okay? So there's this tie bar here it shows you, right? 
And then the next step, remove bolts securing tie bar, move tie bar aside, but it shows you these numbers here is number 12, but this is number 12. So again, Rave Manual left me. I don't know. I, 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 Rave Manual. According to the Rave Manual instructions, we're gonna go ahead and fit the steering box onto the frame member, which we already do. Here we go. 37 minutes later. After several days of f***ing with this thing and dealing with this thing and all this other bullshit with this thing, I finally got to a point where I'm f I have to get another part. I have to get another steering box because this f***ing one shipped with a stripped out input port. How f***ing ridiculous is that? All this that I've gone through, all these f***ing hours of time and trouble that I have gone into putting this f***ing thing together and I get it there and I'll be damned if the f***ing stripped out f***ing intake port isn't the thing that's gonna stop me. And of course, it's a f***ing Saturday. So guess what? I get to go sit on my ass for two f days until I can get a hold of somebody at Buy Auto Parts. So as you can see, it just kind of went downhill from there. And it really wasn't worth filming. I ended up running around town trying to find a thread chaser for that size. Couldn't find anything. Ended up getting a new threading bit for that particular size and ran it in there and then was able to get a new power steering hose to go ahead and seat into the pump. Everything's back together, there's no leaks, it's flowing fine, except when I went to bleed the system down, I was able to get everything bled down, but we only have power when we turn right. We don't have power when we turn left, and obviously that's kind of a problem. Now I thought that maybe it was just a with time thing and we could come back and try bleeding it down again and after we got back from our hike today, we tried that and it didn't work. So that means it's probably that we have a bad steering box and we're gonna have to see if we can get the people that we bought it from by auto parts now or whatever to go ahead and honor their warranty claim. I believe they have a warranty for 36 months unlimited mileage so we're gonna get on the phone and actually see what their warranty process is like and if we can get that thing coming this way sooner than later since next weekend we're going to be having an event and i'd like to bring the rover along for that please listen to all of the options before making your selection if you have a warranty claim where your parts worked for a period of time then failed press three if you want to return a part or need to check this oh, for service Six. If you know the person you were trying to reach, to reach, press events again. Floorfilm.com. <sighs> well, we've run into another vendor who doesn't have a phone system that you can dial into with an iPhone, which is going to make this even more fun. You can get the same assistance as on the phone. Oh, but... If you would prefer to hold for a phone representative, please remain on the line. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Thank you. I got a steering box that I purchased from you guys, and I got it installed, and it only has power going one direction. Okay, let's take a look. What's your billing zip code? Uh, what's the name under the order? All right, I got you pulled up right here. So you said it's got power steering to the right, but not to the left? Yeah, and I've tried bleeding it down multiple times, and it's just not working going left, which makes me believe there's a valve issue in there. Alrighty, well, let me just double check uh, stock on this one. Just give me one second, okay? Okay. Two-day security deposit on this one. I got a security deposit for $100. With that deposit, I can go ahead and get another one shipped out to you. Uh, not today, but I can get it shipped out on Monday. And then once that ships out, all you got to do is send us back the defective unit. Uh, once we get that back into the warehouse and checked in, then we'd issue the repo for the $100. I need it up and running by the end of the week next week, so let's go ahead and just do it that way. Alrighty, yeah, no problem. So I'll get this shipped out as soon as possible, okay? Alrighty, sir, thank you. Yes, sir, you have a nice day. Ah, uh, bye. Bye. Well, that worked out, so hopefully we'll have a steering box in so we can make it to the party next week. Uh, beyond that, I got a whole laundry list of things we're going to be doing to the rover over the next four to five weeks to get it ready for this big trip. So if that's something that's going to interest you or you want to stick around and watch, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, like the video, do all those things to help this channel grow because we really appreciate it. And until next time... Be good. Spins 60, 70, 80 grand on a Jeep. Still can't park.